let's go ahead and let's get started. Whoa, it's dark. Oh, now it's bright. <laughs> Good morning. My goodness, it's like it's Saturday or something. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, so last week we had this awesome time going through and getting our ornament posed. And in my personal stream, I added my second elf. This week, we want to add the final elf down at the bottom. I think I want to do a little bit of like tweaking to this top elf as well. Um, and then I think in my personal stream, we'll go ahead and we will, um, we'll take him and, uh, and make him so that he's ready to print. So, so yeah, this is kind of where we're at. I, okay. So the big thing that I want to do, oh, I haven't pulled out my stylus yet. I teach classes on Friday nights and so I take my my tablet with me and so I've got to make sure that I get all my little bits of equipment out um, now we're good <laughs> okay so with this top guy I was thinking about like he looks too calm I was like this guy's got like all the strain on his face this guy just looks like he's too calm um, and so you know, instead of him feeling so calm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him go a little cross-eyed. <laughs> and yeah, let's go ahead and let's center this. Oh, too close there. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate this so that that is perpendicular to the eyeball itself. center that bring that in cuz i want i want him to feel like since he's going to be supporting these other two elves i want this i want this guy to feel like he's like exerting himself like ooh you know <laughs> so we're going to make this feel really good so today I won't talk about smooth low poly modeling. Uh, today I'm I'm working on an ornament for for Christmas. So it's going to be a, a very different stream from a lot of the stuff that I'll usually do. Um, but I do have a lot of other streams that I've done personally that uh, that deal with low poly modeling. So you know, feel free to look those up. Uh, you can go and check them out on the. Uh, um, Check them out on the, what's it called? Shoot. On. Yeah, the different video on demand sort of stuff from the, the Pixelogic YouTube channel. See, let's do this. We're going to say deformation. We're going to say inflate. I want to exaggerate this shape. There we go. Something like that will work pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and smooth it out. Let's turn off our second elf. Okay, and then we gotta give the uh, we gotta give the mouth kind of more of a pursed sort of shape. which might mean taking this, duplicating it, giving him like a, like a top lip. Good morning, how are you doing, HN? How are you doing? <laughs> Let's go ahead and 
take this, put this here. Did everybody get to watch the ZBrush Summit? Did anybody watch anything and be like, oh my gosh, that was inspirational? Um, yeah, I love the ZBrush Summit, and I think it's such a wonderful, wonderful uh, event. I haven't gotten to watch as much of it as I'd like, um, but I did get some awesome opportunities. Uh, you know, to get to get to meet and connect with the people like the like the folks that made God of War and everything. I got to I got to chat with them and have have a good time, uh, especially with like Dela, uh, Dela Longfish. Uh, that was cool. I got to speak and I, I forget Eric's last name, but Eric, <laughs> he's like one of the, the character leads and everything. He's he's awesome. Such awesome, awesome people. Um You know what? Let's see. Let's try something here. I know, there's like a lot going on here that it's like we want to try to control everything. I kind of want to try to make the lips feel like it's, I want them, I want them to feel like they are um, kind of ex making an expression, but I want them to make them feel like they're also kind of pursed. Like uh, there we go. That that feels so much nicer. go up here maybe give the cheeks a little bit more puff like it's like a like he's really exerting himself <laughs> it's like I'm trying to really make that read as like a like a puffed cheek instead of like a just a chubby cheek and so I've got to really exaggerate it, make it feel, make it feel extra inflated. And that's working. That's working. Okay, let's turn on that. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to grab these lips. Let's just kind of push them up just a little bit more. Yeah, even just that that's fine that works that works I'll, i like that we'll keep that okay so now the idea will be to create that third elf and the third elf is going to be kind of a funny addition i'm i'm really excited about this third guy here give me a second i'm gonna cough all right all right um because this third elf is going to be like super rotund <laughs> um yeah let's go ahead let's see about adding in this third elf and i'm going to say okay i don't want to take that elf too so that's let's take this is make sure this is the right one say delete all if i can get to it okay so now that's gone Elf three, we can go ahead and we can take this. We can get rid of it too. Delete all. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say save so we don't lose it. <laughs> um, I'm going to say ornament three. This is week three, so let's make it ornament three. And in fact, let's uh, purely because I'm interested in keeping it as it is and then having something to go back to. Um, uh, you know what? That's fine. We're fine. We're all right. 
Okay, so let's get this going. Okay, the third and final elf. Let's go ahead, we'll say duplicate. Okay, transpose set. And then uh, let's say let's let's rotate this. Something's masked out, so we're gonna have to go ahead and <laughs> fix that. It's the leg. That's the leg. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get the foot unmasked. Let's get the leg unmasked. Now we can go ahead and we can say, all right, let's bring these guys back. Let's make sure that this is situated properly. Oh, arm, missing an arm. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Other hand, oh my gosh. Okay, what else am I missing? <laughs> Looks like we got it all that time, okay. Okay, so now that we have this version of this elf, I'm gonna bring him down and he's going to be at the bottom of the chain. Let me turn that top elf back on. Okay, and with this guy, we're going we're going to to make a lot of changes. Okay, let's take. It's so funny to see them like this. <laughs> hey, Leonard. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start making changes so that this guy feels good. Okay, let's say delete for the uh, pupils. I don't think I need pupils on this guy. But what I do want Okay, so yeah, like I was like I was gonna say, like this this last elf here, I want him to be very different. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to like sculpt this in quite a bit. I feel like his hair should be a lot smaller than the other elves, like a lot less of a flourish to it than. Uh, than the other elves had. And then we gotta add a lot of pounds to this guy. Like this guy's gotta be like heavy. That's not quite the right shape. Let's keep kind of digging into it up here. I think I kind of want to take the hat and make the hat smaller on this guy. I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of, and we'll, we'll maybe we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But let's go ahead and start kind of tweaking his expression so that he's, you know, happy little elf. Like he's got like 
so much to live for and he's just so happy that Christmas is coming and <laughs> I don't know. Let's go ahead and turn that off. We can kind of take the worry out of his face. We can grab this is this is where things are going to start to be really fun. Let's uh let's grab curve. Oh shoot. Brush curve accu curve. And we're just going to give him like this nice smile. And turn off the accu curve and we can start to kind of polish this now. It's so like the, these cheeks are going to need to be brought in a little bit because they're not meant to be puffed. They're just meant to be chubby. And so there's going to be like some, some of that meat's going to need to be distributed a little bit through like up, up into the space underneath the eyes. This little bit up here is going to need to be kind of filled in a little bit so that it's not so, <laughs> so it's not so empty. <laughs> Oops, I did not want that material. Let's see, color, fill object, okay. Okay, just trying to like even this out, give myself like a good good looking eye bag here get that top lid to feel a little bit more solid there we go that's starting to look really nice <laughs> Oh, you know what? Let's use the, the transpose line, actually. We'll kind of use that to get it started, I guess. It didn't really work quite as nicely. It was too arched. The piece was too arched to really get a good, um, to get a good clean shape off of. But here, let's go ahead and smooth that out. Let's go ahead and grab this beard. I'm trying to think, I might just make it uh just a mustache i don't know nah the beard the beard kind of makes it feel more uh more jolly <laughs> bring that up bring this down This eyelash, let's go ahead, let's invert that. Oops, where'd we go? There we go. Let's go ahead and inflate this a little bit so that it feels roughly the same as the other one. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry too much about making things like perfectly symmetrical or whatnot because I feel like that's just that's a lot of uh, struggle to go through for <laughs> for this particular <laughs> project <laughs> Let's see if we can get kind of the similar sort of flow to it. Cause I, I like Okay, 
so there we go there's kind of the start of that face I do feel like I want the face to be so much rounder though so let's go ahead and kind of puff out this beard quite a bit cool and we'll grab the face I want to be careful not to move the eyes kind of like where the where the eyes are so let's just mask that out oh shoot okay go ahead and kind of puff out that cheek puff out this cheek a little bit more fill in down here and then with the uh, with the lips here we can go ahead and we can give him a nice big smile <laughs> kind of exaggerate that curve so that it feels more smile like It's got messy right here, so let's kind of clean that up a little bit. Just kind of strengthening, trying to strengthen these uh, this fold right here. We'll come back in. We'll hit it a little bit with the with the damn standard, and that'll help to oops. This is a little bit too deep. Let's let's fill this in just a little bit here. And now we can go ahead and we can give those creases back. I'm gonna try to take this eyebrow and let's uh I just I just want him to feel like he's pleasant, like he's like he's in a good mood and he's <laughs> having a good time. <laughs> the idea is to make them feel like they're delivering pro uh presents. Okay. So now that we've gone through and we've made his uh, made his face feel nice and round. Uh, in fact, we gotta we gotta kind of work with this mustache a little bit, but it's it's getting there. Um, one of the things that we've got to do now is that we've got to. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, There we go, kind of a kind of a crooked smile, but he's you know helps to helps to feel a little bit more uh, asymmetry, a little bit more. Uh, let's give him like this this rounder nose too, a little bit. Maybe still have it pointy, but have it be a little bit uh, a little bit rounder, just so that each of these elves have have their own uh, have their own sort of nose. <laughs> Pull on these nostrils a little bit, give them a little wider a nose. There we go. Now they're all like nice and different. Although this little uh, this little swirl of hair, maybe we make that a little bit less. Oops, not like that. Okay, so the idea is to is to finish this stream with. A completely finished bottom elf. Um, there we go. 
that works out. Okay, so now we gotta now we gotta make the rest of the body work for him too. So what we gotta do is we gotta take here. Let's grab. Grab our guy here. Do we have anything masked? We don't. Awesome. I want to make his head kind of face a direction that kind of cheats the camera a little bit. Let's kind of rotate him around some. In fact, maybe for this guy, he needs a little bit of a of a costume change. I don't know. I'll have to to see what we can get to. Because one of the things that we're that we're running into is that I mean, they have like just design wise, they have these super short um, arms and everything, small, teeny tiny bodies, and so. I want to make sure that these things are going to read and that they're going to, to work well um, as a composition. You know what, let's see if maybe we can just shrink him down. It's like he's a little bit smaller of an elf, but he's like he's gonna be like super chubby. So he's like, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's do something like this. Like, I think I think this could potentially work, but he needs to be positioned differently. It, this I'm I'm not gonna escape that. I think. I think with the uh, with the hat. Okay, so the best way to learn sculpting is to just do it. You need suspenders. I thought about doing suspenders. I just didn't want to do something that thin, <laughs> or something. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess you know it doesn't technically have to be thin because I mean it has to be it has to be uh, able to connect and 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 stay sturdy. Um, I thought about doing that where it's like instead of having a coat. Um, yeah, the belt being stretched is more the idea or grabbing onto the collar is kind of what I was thinking of doing. Um, but I think the belt is probably my favorite option because the, uh, the top elf is hanging onto the scruff of the neck from the middle elf. And I think the, the belt is probably my favorite option. Um, I think that's where, where it's going to end up going. Let's go ahead and kind of deselect all those. Give him a little bit smaller of a hat. I'm gonna have to like fix his hair if I if uh and then I'm gonna have to fix the little tuft on the top of his hat too. Let's turn off the uh, the original little screenshot there. Let me see. Why can't subdivision levels? More said I do poly up and can't. I'm not sure I understand your question. Why can't subdivision level more? Um, you might check if you have like your mesh partly hidden um or masked you make sure that you don't have anything masked or hidden uh, if you if you if it won't let you add subdivision levels it's because you have something hidden if it won't if it uh if it's letting you add geometry but it's not giving you a subdivision level like underneath geometry 
you know, like if, if you if you have something, let me see, what are we on? So if I if I mask this out, well, like, okay, so so first off, if we say divide, it's going to add a subdivision level, right? Um, but if we have it masked and we hit divide, it's not going to add a subdivision level, but it is going to add resolution to anywhere that's not masked, okay? Um, the other thing is that if we have only part of it visible and we try to hit divide, oh, look at that. I guess it, I guess it still adds resolution. It doesn't add a subdivision, but it adds resolution, but it doesn't add resolution to whatever's been hidden. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Decrease the number of subdivision levels or increase the max. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, there's probably something going on with your file that's not something that I'd be able to <laughs> to dig into um, so just a, a little bit of background on me I'm a lead character modeler for Marvel Animation Studios um, I I don't work for Pixelogic like this is something that I get to do for fun on the side um, is is not uh, in any way a job and I'm not very technically inclined with uh, with stuff, so I, I, I wouldn't know all the ins and outs uh, of you know how to fix whatever issues you may be running into. Um, occasionally I do. Occasionally I do. Uh, that's one that I don't even feel remotely. Like I have, I have no idea. So if you're if you're running into an issue that you feel like is an issue with the software, what I would do is I would go onto the Pixelogic website and and submit a ticket. Let me see. Uh, let me see if we can find this. Let's go ahead to Pixelogic. Okay, so you go over to support go to support center. There's also documentation and stuff like that. Uh, but you go to the support center. Okay. And then in here you can, you can find different ways to be able to get support. Um, let me see. Support general hours, max on transition information, stuff like that. Let me see. Where's the, uh, Yeah, I mean, you can go through and you can like search different topics. You can start a conversation, all sorts of different things like in here, right? So, uh, so that that's that's what I would do is if you're if you're having troubles with getting certain things to to happen, um, and that could be a good a good place to start. Let's go ahead. I want to. To fix the forms on these cheeks just a little bit, it feels a little bit flat. Nice. Okay, guys, I think. think that one of the things that I want to start doing again on on the ZBrush Live is working on environments, um, like working on my personal environments, because I like <laughs> I like that stuff sometimes, you know. And I've I've been feeling uh, like I kind of want to get this environment going again. Uh, if you guys remember. We were doing this uh, this apartment scene. Um, I think it'd be fun to go through and kind of kind of finish that out, you know. Obviously, it would take some time, and it wouldn't be something that would happen super quickly. But you know, it's fun stuff. What do you guys think? Would uh, would environment stuff be of interest to you? I'll probably do it regardless, but you know. <laughs> Because I do have uh, a bunch of people, you know, tell me like how much they miss my environment stuff. But 
that I had my mask lasso on. I guess I don't. Gotta bring this over just a little bit. Uh, didn't realize I had symmetry on there. How about that? What is going on? Good gracious. Oh my goodness. I have no idea why it got all buggy right there. Sometimes sometimes when you use your uh, your little gizmo like your your pizza your pizza box option, it'll do that. I don't know of a way to fix that. Um which distresses me. But you know, whatever. It's it's a it's a it's not a big deal. It was easy to fix. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Okay, maybe I don't gotta sneeze. <laughs> okay, so with his beard, compositionally, it's not working super great to have it kind of swirl off to the side like that. I think like swirling down kind of more directly in the front is going to work better. Um, so let's go ahead, let's grab this. I'm going to grab my tools. Okay, let's grab this and boom. Now let's just grab the move brush and we'll just see kind of what it is that we can make out of this. <laughs> We'll probably have to sculpt it a little bit to get some clay clay build up and uh, kind of fix some forms. Uh, did not want MRGB on. to try to see if I can get these uh, finished out so that we can get them printed. See, this guy feels so jolly. He feels like so, like he's so ready for the holidays. And let's go ahead and kind of even out that shape a little bit better. I kind of like that, uh, I like that beat sort of shape, you know, that, that, uh, Nice, nice round. I mean, we could do just a fully round beard. He doesn't have to have a point, but I feel like the point kind of helps to complement the hat. Um, I feel like it helps to create this interesting composition that we wouldn't have otherwise. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and kind of fix this with that a little bit. Okay, now let's deal with the body, because the body's going to be a trip. <laughs> hey, Doug, did you start this project last week? Um, kind of. I've gone, I've gone on it for a couple of weeks, but I had a couple of weeks off as well. So, 
Um, so like for instance, I was I didn't stream. Um, I didn't stream the week of the ZBrush Summit, or the following week either, where we had um, where where there was Designer Con. Um, was that last week? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, this week I'm uh, I'm back for. Uh, or I guess last week and this week. So yeah, I, I did stream last week, I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, so I want this to be kind of like a multi... A multi-directional kind of um, composition. It's going to be kind of like... Like maybe my main, my main view is like something like this, where you can kind of see the expressions of all three elves. Um, but yeah, I want this. I want this to feel like you can get a little bit of story from each angle, except for this angle. Like this, that's kind of a, that's not a great angle. <laughs> but uh, you know, not much else that I can do with that. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's grab that. Uh, grab these bits here let's ungrab the beard <laughs> and let's see if we can get this to angle up with the uh, with the head hey gorgeous <laughs> okay let me see I'm going to deselect oops shoot deselect arms and legs which technically the legs are attached to like the inner body piece too I'll just fix that individually it's fine uh, let's grab these arm bits here yeah no this that's totally the idea Doug so this is uh, this is my ornament for uh, for 2022 um, Leonard and I are doing uh, an ornament gift exchange uh, for old time's sake. It's, it's kind of a, a long-standing tradition at Imagineering, um, and it's such a it's something that we've we both like super missed. And so, um, and so you know we're like, hey, we should do a, we should do an ornament exchange. We're like, okay. <laughs> So I've got this going on. The reason I deselected the belt is that I wanted to try to keep the belt from from deforming too much. I'd rather like control the belt individually by itself than um, just kind of pull out the belly a little bit so that he's more chubby. Give him a nice big round belly. Now I need to start getting these arms in position. So let's 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 do this. We're going to turn on our multi multi piece piece thing here. Let's grab where it is there we go. Now these arms, I might have to go through and do something different with these, where it's like the uh, like I might take the arms themselves. And kind of inflate them. Let's see. Let's let's try this and see see what we get if we just inflate, and then we can like skinny up. You know what? Maybe what we can do is we can skinny up one end and then inflate the other, because it's definitely getting too thick down at the wrists. But I don't know. Maybe it's not. You know. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Oops. Let's go ahead and inflate this bad boy here. He's getting swole. <laughs> So let's see. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to mask out one half of the arm so that this way we can come over here and we can say, let's, let's grab this arm and we can just pose the one arm. And I, I want him to feel like he's like, he's like really like <laughs> kind of, kind of tubby, you know, like, like, like you can feel just all of his, uh, all of his jolly, right? Let's see, let's kind of bring this up, bring it in, rotate it, something like that. Okay, so now let's switch out that mask, switch out that mask, switch out that mask. And then same thing, bring it up. Kind of rotate it down, rotate it in, rotate it in, that sort of, you know, all that, all that jazz, all that jazz. And then bring it in some. Kind of check it just to make sure that we are getting something we want, getting something we like out of this. Let's grab the move brush and we'll just kind of pull this out and along so that it's covering what needs to cover. grab the belt we grab the belt and the belt buckle but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can okay so there's the belt buckle let's grab the belt let's go ahead and just kind of pull this so that this is a uh, kind of fitting more the direction it needs to be fitting boom Okay, let's see. Let's do this a little, little bit again here. It feels a little bit better. Turn on transparency so we can... Why does it keep doing that? It drives me nuts. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Let's see. Let's grab our move infinite depth. Let's we'll kind of look at it from the rump side. And we'll start pulling out the the belt so that it feels like it fits his form a little bit better. There we go. Look at that. It's like we are in business. Okay, the belt is what we're going to want to use to help him feel like he's being uh, suspended. So let's go ahead and we could probably lower his whole character a little bit. Um, make sure that the arms are not masked anymore. <laughs> um, and then those legs are going to need to be like much tubbier and we're going to need to make sure that the body is... Um, you know, bigger. So let's let's do this. I'm going to say 
I am going to say, what are we going to say? You know, can I, can I get away with just like moving bits around? There's going to need to be some like some serious uh, inflation, <laughs> inflation nation. It's like I keep working my way to the top corner of that screen, and it's just like, eh. <laughs> yeah. In fact, um, if you guys are interested, the uh, let me show you the ornament I made for 2019. I was gonna say because like here's here's a casting and it's like that's not very easy to see maybe the print would be easier to see maybe I don't know, let's see, let's switch to the camera view all right so oh I fixed my hair because that looks atrocious so there's my my ornament from 2019 it's a Christmas llama <laughs> you can see it's got uh what does it say from Steven Anderson around the uh, around the outside, yeah, and then it's uh, yeah, it was just it was just super fun. It's got kind of like this wood grain look to uh, to this <laughs> to the ring. Um, I can't remember if I have <laughs> serious inflation worried suddenly is going to turn political about the economy. <laughs> no, we're gonna keep it away from that. But it's just kind of a a fitting remark, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I was able to go through and make a make a little cup mold for that, and then uh, turn this into this. Let me uh, let me change my view to ZBrush Live. Oh come on, sign me in, jerk! Sign me out. Well, it's just that like. I, I sign in every week when I go to teach my class and um, that looks really killer. I'm going to have to like that one. Um, view profile. That's what I wanted. It's like, what am I coming in for? If I have it anywhere, like the actual llama, it looks like I don't have it up here. I should put it up here because it was kind of a fun piece. Um, but it was just like this fun stylized llama that I had that I had done. Um, I'm pretty sure I have it on on here, so we'll find it. I've made a few posts since then. <laughs> There's the daisy that I did for Disney World. That was fun. We're getting closer. So here's the here's that environment that I mentioned earlier. Um, I want to go through and continue working on this, make it feel a little bit more like you know somebody lives there. You know, add some props. But there's also like his bedroom, Kai's bedroom, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I want to go through and kind of work on that some um, in the coming weeks. Mr. Llama, where you is? Was it really this long ago? Shoot, it can't have been this long ago. Where? Can it? Yep, it can. So here's here's what my uh, here's what my ornaments looked like when they were painted. Um. I didn't make a whole lot. I think I made maybe eight that were like fully painted. Um, I am in no way a painting artist. I try to, and in fact, I've got like, let me show you real quick. 
uh, I've started trying to paint my own figurines, so like my own prints. Um, and you can see my mermaid right back there, which was, you know, further up here as well. Um, yeah, lots. Here's here's the actual llama, though. Let me see. ZBrush 2, there we go. So you can see the the llama kind of spinning around. Um, it was a super fun little figure to, <laughs> to sculpt and <laughs> it's, um, the hard thing about this llama is that he's not very strong compositionally, but he'd work well as an ornament by himself. Um, the hard thing for me is that, <laughs> is that, um, I wasn't able to create a good mold like like my mold wasn't working out very well and and I'm I'm sure that I could probably do a little bit better now because I've learned some things since then. Um yeah, molding and casting is something that that I want to get better at. Um but yeah, this is just a it was it was just fun. It was so much fun. Uh, there were some trouble spots that I ran into. There were the uh the hooves down here. Um and then there's also the ear up top. Uh, this little part in here too, the the top of the bag, that got some bubbles and things that were really kind of a pain to <laughs> kind of a pain to to work with. Um, but I just I didn't I didn't work with any kind of sprues or uh, ventilation or anything like that. So it was, um, yeah. I uh, I've learned since then. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of stuff that I've that I've uh, got to do. Man, I've been busy. It's crazy to to scroll through. Oh yeah, there's there's my mermaid. So there, this is this is the first mermaid that I painted, and I really like how she turned out. But uh, I did this one for for my friend who actually designed her. Um, and she's really small. She was a she was a lot of fun to paint though, and really really fun little project. Um, I have the bigger one though. That <laughs> that I did for myself, <laughs> and you can see I've got I've got another post up here where it's got more of the, uh, you know in you know fully painted in the beat like on the beach you know really just that was a that was a fun little photo shoot except that it uh it fell and broke and i was so so just no <laughs> so frustrated <laughs> yeah it was it was great it was a really fun uh, fun time though let me see i'll go ahead and, oh a sharpshooter i wanted i wanted to check this out because this is this is cool add that to my character design folder because there's no way I want to lose this this is this is beautifully done like I love that hand painted texture look it looks like it's all just hand painted texture because like the glasses you can see like the glasses the the highlights are staying in the same place so it looks like it's just definitely like a like a texture for the glass um, but look at how gorgeous how gorgeous those edge transitions are and beautiful beautiful folds and, and such oh this is great like the subtle color variation like in here like this this green down to like this weird maroon um the golds and having like these really warm tones versus the really kind of cool tones this is gorgeous this is so so cool yeah like hand painted sort of look that's something that i want to get better at too Look at that, and there's the texture count. Wow. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Now they just need to put it into Sketchfab so that we can turn around it and look at it ourselves. <laughs> yeah, anyway. We'll, uh, I'll leave it up, because that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's get this going. So this needs to be smoothed out. 
this needs to cover it up more. <laughs> Don't need this to be no peep show. <laughs> Hold on. Life is just a to do list. There's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> Is a lot of truth to that. Just trying to figure out making the the shape feel a little bit better. Get these legs to feel a little bit more. I actually think what I need to do. Let's go ahead and kind of rotate that. try something like this we'll kind of squash those legs and expand them up okay let's take this and we'll kind of rotate it down some So it's more matchy matchy with the other one. I gotta give him like a little bit more calf. That'll help him to feel a little bit more uh, true to life, you know? Feel like he's got more anatomy to him. Let's make sure we have just this piece selected so that we can do some move brushing. Let's kind of invert that mask. And then these shoes. Let's make them so that they're like a little bit bigger. They're definitely going to need to be like a little bit chunkier, <laughs> you know? But, uh. Let's go ahead, let's do something like this. I'm just kind of. I don't want to squash them though. Let's, let's see. Maybe what we can do is we can grab this, kind of squash them a little bit from here. Let's see, let's let's grab let's grab this foot. I don't want this to be facing in like that. I kinda wanna have it like facing out. Almost like he's trying to use it to hold the present that he's gonna be holding. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be kinda funny. I like I like this idea. I like playing around and being creative like this, but it's like this is this is kind of a funny just little idea that I've <laughs> had cooking in my head since Leonard said that he wanted to do uh, an ornament exchange. <laughs> Just like, elves! <laughs> okay, 
right, now let's get this other shoe. Okay, let's make sure this is fitting his foot, fitting his leg. So cute Jews. Um, I don't know if you were around earlier, but earlier I said we're not going to make anything political. That fits under political. So uh, we're going to we're going to leave that nutshell out. I will say, however, that I'm disgusted with what's happening with the Ukraines. I am sorry for what's happening. I stand by you, and I hope that there is a quick and peaceful resolution so that Ukraine can finally have peace. I am disgusted, and I am heartbroken. Those views are my own, and while they may reflect a lot of people uh, people's opinions from the company of Maxon and uh, and Pixelogic, they are not necessarily representative of their opinions, so they are my own. Um, and I'll leave it at that. gizmo thing let me see uh, how are you painting the mask with the gizmo um, so uh, so one thing that I that I'll do is that like I'll I'll have like either yeah shoot let me let me do this so you were talking about with the boot we have currently I have um, like the option with the gizmo being able to like you know mask out with the with that lasso um it's just using the mask lasso so there's that or there's also um there's also the mask pen you know i can just like click and drag if i were to if i were to use the mask pen and i were to try to uh for instance uh paint on there it's just going to like click and drag and that's going to create this um dragging out the masking effect so it's not really like a huge um i don't know it's, it's really it's really kind of an interesting an interesting tool i really like using that um it's handy let's see i'm gonna take Let's let's rename this. Let's rename the folder to Elf03, as we do, and let's save it so that we don't lose it, because that would be sad. <laughs> um, click and drag on tool with uh with control to mask and have it fade yeah so it, it does it does give you a little bit of a fade which is nice um i think it might be more more easy like more easily easy to see with the legs so you can just kind of click and drag and it'll it'll kind of bring in your mask and then once you release it'll kind of fade it out a little bit so you can just kind of control tap on it to be able to to fade that even more so that way it's not a not a harsh line in any way um, and then when you go ahead and you rotate it, you'll get like this smooth transition. So it's it's a uh, it's kind of a nice. I really I really appreciate like the gizmo and and everything that it comes with. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of play with these toes a little bit, just so that they're not exactly the same as the other shoes, the other L shoes.
this arm. It's a little bit too rotated there. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be careful because it's like there are some things at play here that I want to make sure that I am not I, d I don't want to block his face. I don't want to you know what, let's take this actually and kind of pull this out a little bit. Something like that. Something like that. Let's kind of mask it back so that way it's the same side. <clears throat> Am I working from reference? Nope. Uh, where are you from? I'm from here, from the USA. Um. Uh, how long have you been modeling? Uh, about 12 years. Uh, my current job, I'm a, I'm a lead character modeler at uh, Marvel Animation. So yeah, I have a lot of fun. <laughs> I have a fun job. Oops, I do not want those... Okay, now we're good. Aloha! <laughs> How are you doing? You liked What If? You're going to be really like in season two, then season two is way better than season one. <laughs> in my humble opinion. Okay, I'm liking that. That's starting to feel so much nicer. In fact, I might take one of these legs and kind of bend it up, but... uh I feel like that's that's feeling much better. One of the things I'm trying to gauge is kind of a center and balance. So like right here, it's like I feel like that's nicely balanced, I'm turning them around, looking at it from a different angle. This feels like it's not quite as balanced. Um, so what I might do, let's go through here to each of these arm pieces and just like undo all the masking. And where are you? There we go. Um, and let's say transpose set. Make sure that we're, yeah, we're we got we got another piece that's masked here. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to save it again just because I get paranoid like that. Um, This is beard, Papa. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to grab this guy. Let's go ahead and rotate him just a little bit more. And that feels a little bit more balanced, but still, that feels that feels a little bit better. So it's just a matter of kind of trying to find where things are going to fit, what things are going to need in order to really work. Um, I'm gonna grab my transpose line. Let's take it to rotate, and I'm just gonna hold 
alt and rotate that a little bit. And then we're going to kind of push this around a little bit with the move. So I'm going to hold alt and kind of use these little circles. You can also use a big move brush and just kind of push this into place. And I'm wanting to try to get this to feel like he's got a lot of pull. <laughs> like poor guys just absolutely weighing everybody down. Um, let me see, how are we doing on that? Let's kind of rotate him so he's a little bit more in line. And maybe it's a matter of getting, let's get, let's get his body so that it's kind of more hanging in line with these, uh, with this elf and, and, uh, and the way that he's trying to hold on to the belt. Um, and then I can take the character's head. And kind of rotate this differently. Cause I think, I think that this is kind of fitting a little bit more like too straightforward like it's it's facing I don't know it's not it's not creating quite the composition that I want let's see if I can get it to go be move scoot it over just a little bit here There we go. I'll have him kind of like tilting up like he that'll that'll feel a little bit more like there's interaction like there's um, you know because the because the top elf is kind of like ooh, oh he was originally looking down um, and then the bottom elf uh, he's looking up kind of just kind of returning the 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 composition upward and I think this sort of thing is going to work pretty all right. I just want to make sure that his ear is not penetrating. At least not super badly, you know. Now we got to take this hat and switch it back the other direction. Because we're, we're wanting this to kind of read like it's reacting to gravity some, right? Um, so since we changed it so that it's facing the other direction, we got to make it so that it's <laughs> facing the other direction. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, this is the tree ornament. Um, I would have a bigger distance between the bottom elf and the elf holding the belt, making it more dramatic that he's holding on. Just, yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I mean, it's, it's one of those things I've got to kind of tweak anyway. Um, You know what? That poof got a little bit small. Let's make it bigger. So it's like the hat's small, but the poof is still big. <laughs> Which I think is funny. That's, that's, that's kind of fun, right? switch that back so that it's fitting more that could be interesting let's kind of switch it so that it's more hanging out on the back of the hat give it a little little bit different of a curve there
with this guy, let's go ahead and fix his collar so that this is fitting what we need. Let's pull the uh, the top of his jacket up too so that it feels like it's got some gravity to it. I do, let me see. opinion value equals zero your value doesn't your 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 opinion doesn't value zero <laughs> he does kind of look like mo <laughs> it's kind of funny <laughs> that would have been funny to have done like a three stooges themed uh like have larry curly and mo just do like the whole three of them <laughs> uh that'd be funny Let's grab something like this. We'll give him a little bit more of an exaggeration. I don't want to give him too much because I, I still want him to feel like he's like it's more solid of a piece. Um, just because, like, yeah, I mean, the main thing that I'm that I'm considering is 3D printing when I'm when I'm trying to put this together. Um, so, like, this this bit right here is is going to need to be much more solid, um, and I'll have to figure out what to what to do to make that happen. But it'll it'll happen. Okay, something like that. see if we can get something like this going on here and these hands will likely be kind of drawn together um, because of like you know the pressure from the belt and the weight from the from the elf and things like that so I'm going to I'm going to like push these hands together make it feel like it's you know, like two hands working in unison sort of thing um, and I think that will help a lot in making this area feel well be much more solid um kind of wrap that around a little bit. I'm just holding alt with that move tool and it's helping me to um to move along the normals. So helpful. Let's kind of pull these thumbs down so that they kind of help to close that gap. Give that thumb a little bit more volume because it's feeling like it's losing some. Pull this out some. Pull that over. Pull this over. Having a little bit of a gap right here is kind of fun. It, it helps you to feel more of the weight. Um, but yeah, there's definitely going to need to be some Let's add another subdivision level here so that we can have everything the way that we need it. <laughs> and since this is kind of releasing on the... Oh, that's way too strong. Yeah, let's go ahead and change our intensity down something real low. Yeah, but since that's releasing the pressure right here from the uh, from the belt, we can just have like make sure that things are bunching up where where they feel like they ought to be. Um, yeah, that's that's working. That's working nicely. This fur bit we need to kind of pull out and work on a little bit, but it's it's working. This body we need to push that in. <laughs> just 
kind of push it in. So we don't need to worry too much about what the shape is that it's making on the inside. Um, what we do need to worry about is the lack of overlap here. And we'll have to, we'll have to fix like the leg piece in order to really make this work, I think. And let's get that intensity back up. Smooth that out, pull it so it's inside of that, uh, his brief piece there. <laughs> That's working much, much nicer. Oops. Invert the mask, there we go. Let's make sure that this is making a better shape. <laughs> Maybe give him a little bit more booty, especially over here on this side. That looks like it's like losing some booty, so let's make sure this guy has some heftier assets. <laughs> All right, that's working much, much nicer. With this bit over here, though, we're going to have to mask this out. Let's pull it over. I might make... Good grief, my son is like... Sneezing up a storm. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and kind of pull that up a little bit. Or actually, maybe what we'll do instead is we'll just kind of pull this out. Just so that this way he's got more of a modesty layer, right? <laughs> Not that it matters a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's uh I don't know. I don't want Leonard to blush every time he looks at the Christmas tree. <laughs> So now he's now he's on there. I'm gonna call that good with that. That's looking pretty good. <clears throat> are, are any of these else members of ZBrush like Paul, Joseph, or any, no? There, there, there isn't any of these that are modeled after anybody, um, and they don't even look remotely like <laughs> uh, any of the any of the Pixelogic team. <laughs> But uh, that's funny, though. That's funny. <laughs> I'm going to try to go through and fill this in some so that it's more solid. And just using the, uh, the fur to, to be able to fill that in feels like a good move. I do miss Joseph Drust though. Like that guy, he's he's been a good friend, and you know, having him, uh, I, or I guess better said, not having him there has been very different, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope he's I hope he's doing well. I hope he's having a good time with whatever it is that he's up to now. Go ahead and kind of fill this area in because I can. Pixelogic bobbleheads. That would be epic. <laughs> it would have been hilarious. You're absolutely right. And maybe it'd be funny to go through and, and uh, do it anyway. Um, getting 
get like Jaime on there and Paul and uh, Kyle is one that's always been like super uh, major major support for like the stream team and everything like that. So you know, put Kyle on there. You know, that could be fun. Um, or we could put. Let me see. I'm trying to think who else is like. Oh, we could we could totally put. Um... Oh my goodness. The CEO of Pixelogic, the dude who invented it all. Oh my goodness, I am blanking on his name. I am blanking on his name. He's the one that invented ZBrush. Hurry, everybody. I need a name. I need the name. I need the name. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it first. <laughs> oh, fair. I feel so dumb. When I, when I can't remember somebody as important, <laughs> that's so fair. <laughs> that's just embarrassing. I don't want that masking tool. I want this masking tool. Let's go ahead and kind of like just tweak that foot a little bit. Okay, again, I'm just going to do a quick check for like center of balance. It looks good. It looks like it'll work. His name is Ofer. Let me show you. Ofer alone. So like when you, uh, yeah, I mean, he goes by go, he goes by Pixelator on on ZBrush Live or on uh, ZBrush um, Central. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, that's them. Um, yeah. Developed by the company Pixelogic, founded by Ofer alone, also known as, by the alias Pixelator, and Jack Rimuck. The software was presented in 1999 at SIGGRAPH. The demo version 1.55 was released in 2003, and version 3.1 was released in 2007. It's come a long way since then. It's amazing. But yeah, <clears throat> really cool. He's a really nice guy. Very quiet. Um, yeah, there we go. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> In interest of exaggeration. <laughs> We're going to give a little extra exaggeration to this guy. In the middle, give him just a little extra. Oh no, don't make the. Okay. Just kind of pull on that just a little bit. Just so that there's not so much. Like I don't want, um, I don't want penetration with this guy's cheek up here, because I feel like that's a little bit too much. Um, I do want this to stretch more, and I want this to stretch more. Give it another subdivision level so that it's a little bit easier to manipulate. <laughs> Turn off symmetry. Why do I have symmetry on? That's so frustrating. <laughs> okay, there we go. Something like that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Something like that. Kind of 
pull that up a little bit. Pull that up a little bit. That way it feels like it's being influenced by his arms a little bit more. And then, okay, so so the idea is for, let me, let me go ahead and say append cube. Let's go to this cube. And I'm gonna use one of my own cubes. Thank you. Um, the idea is for this bottom guy to be holding a present. Um, and I want this present. I'm, I'm thinking I might go ahead and like make the present in real life, you know? So like make like an actual little box, wrap it and uh, give it a little bow. Uh, just because I feel like that'll be so much more appealing. <laughs> um, here, let's 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 take this arm and adjust it so that it's so that it's uh, holding onto that corner down there. I know you have subdivision levels. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and make sure that I have just these selected. And then I can rotate this. trying to get this so that it feels like it's oops let's go ahead and rotate this just got to check and make sure that I'm not accidentally moving my other pieces because <laughs> That's frustrating. If it's like you, you're you're moving something along, and you all of a sudden realize, oh shoot, I've been moving something else along too, and I didn't mean to. <laughs> there we go. Get that over there. Let's go ahead and grab this. We can kind of manipulate this a little bit so that it feels a little bit more full. Because otherwise it's going to feel a little bit too, uh, too flat. I don't want it to feel flat. I want it to feel fluffy. <clears throat> cool. There it is. <laughs> We've got that. <laughs> yeah, it could be a ring box, I guess. That'd be funny. Um, in my case, it won't be. It'd be kind of just a little box with a, like, just a little something. Um, make it out of, like, a cereal box or something like that. Um, it should be fun. Remember version one? It was hard to understand when they were talking about pixels when they were when there were so few people to get helpful info from. Got shelved uh, by me for a few years before I took it down to try that again. Yeah, I tried ZBrush for the first time, two thousand twelve. Uh, so I've been in ZBrush for ten years. Um, yeah, this is this is exciting, guys. This is really really exciting. I'm going to say all high, so that way we have all this fur nice and fluffy. When I try to like 
vary up some of this uh, some of this fur shape so that it feels a little bit more vol vol voluminous. <laughs> I definitely want it to feel like it's got fluff to it. And then I should be able to hit print on this guy at some point today. I'm going to I'm going to finish getting him ready to send to my printer um, in my personal stream, which I'll start in about I don't know twenty something minutes. Um, if you're interested in in tuning into that and and finding me on on Twitch or on YouTube, uh, you can find me underneath my username, which I have down down below right here. Go ahead and minimize my yeah right right down right down below right here. Um, feels a little bit too uniform, too wobbly wobbly. It's like these lumps feel a little bit too even so maybe what I'll do is I'll take this and kind of pull this in pull this out pull this over something like that it kind of helps to, to vary it up makes it feel a little bit less uh, less even I want it to feel more organic more fluffy Let's get let's get a little bit more uh, variety here too, because we're getting a little bit too uh, like it's too uniform, like it's like the the shape's not breaking the silhouette, you know things like that. So I'm just going to try to break silhouette a little bit in certain areas. Kind of break that shape a little bit here. That looks nice. Let's do a little bit with this as well. Wouldn't it be cool if Hallmark were to call me and be like, hey, we want to mass produce your ornament. It'd be like, okay. Let's work out a contract. <laughs> Oh, hey. Yep, that's me. Right there. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. I should have typed it in myself. I got a little lazy. <laughs> Gotta make it a commercial. <laughs> Needs to be an Amazon smile on the side of the box. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, the idea will be for it to have... I don't think I have a bow. I don't think I have a bow ready to... to kind of add in here but let's let's see what we can kind of come up with something kind of like this And just for the sake of having like a quick like nonsense bow <laughs> on here <laughs> yeah let me see
There we go. We'll just we'll just pretend like that's a like that's a bow. <laughs> Let's say mrgb color fill object oh rgb let's turn that up color fill object <clears throat> in fact let's make it green and then we'll make the bow red or something i don't know make it red but make it like a like a deeper more saturated red than the gloves <clears throat> And then with the uh, with the actual like, I want to make it so that it has ribbon on it. So like this, this is literally just going to be like stand-in concept. Um, <laughs> thanks, Leonard. It's 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 a tough subject because it's one of those things that there are so many things to consider. I didn't even check it from like top or to bottom, but you know, turn off perspective so that it's not totally messing up with the. Uh, Feels like it should hopefully work, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there, there's there's so much to consider. It's such a complex subject. Okay, Control Shift A, Control W. I'm going to say insert. It will say insert single loop. Come here, you. What's going on? What is going on? I'm not sure why it wasn't uh, showing my my loop. Okay, so I just want to put that there. We're gonna say bevel uh, edge loop complete. Sure, we'll just kind of boom like that. Boom like that. And then let's grab this. We'll hide it. Oh, Control Shift D. Let's do this, and we'll say modify topology, delete hidden. We'll go up. We'll bring everything back. Go back down to the ribbon. We'll just say, for the sake of being able to visualize what we're doing, we'll just kind of give this a little bit of thickness. There we go. So that is kind of what I want it to look like in the end. And there will be like a, a bow at the top that they're hanging on to. <laughs> and <clears throat> so the idea is for um, is for the present to be, you know, something that's made outside of the print. Um, and then for the bow to be something that's made outside of the print. So literally the, uh, the print, what's, what's going to be printed Cool. Okay. So we're just going to say control F. Um, I'm going to call this practical elements. I'll put the Z-sphere chain in there too. So literally what we're going to end up with is something like this. And this is this is what the print will end up looking like. If we if we look at it from a standpoint of like what it's going to look like <laughs> when it's printed, it'll look more more like this. <laughs> right? Um I'm really enjoying that. This, this is this is going to be such a fun little ornament. Um, so so the idea is that once I get, um, I might need to fix that a little bit. In fact, let's do that real quick since we're here and looking at it. Okay. I think the idea was for it to feel like it was being stretched, like it's like got a fold or a wrinkle or something like that. I don't know. Let's do something kind of like that. That feels a little bit better.
That feels a lot better. <clears throat> okay, let's go back. Let's say all high. Cool. So there's there's our basic ornament. There might be some things that we need to do kind of like to clean it up or whatever. But uh, <clears throat> uh, the big kids would love helping to paint the little guys after you print them. Probably. <laughs> I don't know that uh, I don't know that I'll have them paint it for me though. I might give them like I don't know at some point I might give them like their own little copy to 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 paint. I usually do. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see to see kind of what we get to. Um, yeah, that's that's where that ended up. So let's let's go ahead. Let's take a take a little screenshot of this over here. Turn the colors back on. Bring them over here. <laughs> kind of get a good like close up shot, and then uh, I don't know. We'll do like a reverse shot over here. <laughs> no, we'll just we'll give them we'll give them kind of more of a front view. We'll th let them keep the glory side, you know. that's that's where we uh that's where we ended up so practical items turn it back on that's kind of how it'll <clears throat> that's the idea for how it'll end up being really fun it is this should be a fun one to to go through and uh print and make um i'm going to go ahead and shut down the stream and jump over to my personal stream in about 15 minutes um and then you know that then I'll go through the process of getting all these ready for printing. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about engineering and making it super, um, you know, making it so that all the elves kind of come apart, uh, just because I I don't really have the time for it. So it's um, yeah, it's something that's just going to be like a matter of you know boolean boolean ing. <laughs> <laughs> them together um again just for anybody who is um <laughs> i am not worthy you are totally worthy slash slash www dot twitch dot tv slash smartest or you could go to http as colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash smartest depending on oh get the right username there okay um <clears throat> either way that should work i'll be starting in about 15 minutes um and yeah i'll i'll get him i'll get these these guys uh union meshed and ready to go so go ahead take a good 15 minute break and i'll see you next time i see you smartest out